famous son, David Miller. Unfortunately, my dad could not be here, so um, he wrote this statement um, for me to deliver today. I'm running for the Tennessee House of Representatives, District 26, because I want to make a difference. I want to be a leader in the return to civil, honest, open, and transparent politics and governing. I want to help to restore the American dream of a better future, especially for the young. We cannot lose our way and place the burden of bad decisions and narrowly focused policies on the next generation. Instead, I want to work for the greater good to benefit all the citizens of District 26 and for the great state of Tennessee. We have let the politics of special interests and corporate wealth drive our state's government, particularly over the last two years. It is time to turn things around. And here is how I will run my campaign and how I will work for the greater good. I will focus on results for working families and will work across party lines to ensure that this newly created house district has the best opportunity for job growth. All our citizens must have a much better chance to become a part of the 21st century workforce. We need to focus on programs that put Tennesseans back to work by partnering with small businesses, expanding access to job training and education, and keeping Tennessee a low-tax state by holding big special interests accountable. We need leaders who will fight for the middle class and everyone who is trying hard to work their way into the middle class. For example, I want to lead the effort to end the grocery tax that hurts our working families. I note that there was a token rollback of the sales tax on groceries, but I want to eliminate it over time. This tax is the one that hurts average Tennesseans the most, and its elimination will let people redirect spending with their savings. I believe the best government is the one that comes from the center, not from the fringes. If we focus on the common good and outcomes that will result in job growth, better education, and a higher quality of life for all residents, we can bring the American dream back for our people. The key to this is to find ways to empower what could be called the sensible majority in the state house. We can find ways to work cooperatively and across the aisle. For example, the creation of regular bipartisan gatherings where lobbyists and special interest representatives are not present. We should also consider creating a bipartisan leadership team in the General Assembly comprised of those who see the value in reaching consensus through open, transparent, and public debate. It is okay to disagree. It is not okay to be disagreeable. My campaign will use my years of experience in adult education and training and in higher education. I'm extremely proud of the time I have spent helping adults, both students and working adults, better their lives through learning. We must change the way we think about education and move beyond the 19th century paradigms, such as the school year, to think in terms of continuous and consistent learning. Education is more about learning than about teaching. But I stand with the teachers in learning. Um, I think our public school educators and our college and university faculty recognize that their role as professionals is different from the days where they acted as the state, sage on the stage. Learning in the modern sense requires teachers to play a facilitating role and to leverage the amazing tools of technology to ensure that real learning starts with the young and never stops through adulthood when people must change roles and master new skills all the time. Lifelong learners should be our competitive advantage in creating a nimble and competent workforce for the 21st century. In short, I know that my candidacy represents the effort of what my friend Bill Taylor likes to call the modern Southern Democrat. We can stay focused on jobs and an economy for the 21st century. That means we must harness the energies of our state government and empower partnerships with our business partners to make our public education systems truly successful. The final element in the educational processes is the role of the citizens, especially families. We need all Tennessee families on board with a commitment to be more engaged in the learning activities of their children. At the same time, those parents should be asking themselves, what learning do I need to ensure my family's success? If all three elements, government, the business community, and our own citizens commit, we will move Tennessee up in its educational success. I know that my campaign faces some massive challenges. My opponent, the Republican House Majority Leader, has a massive campaign war chest. I fully expect that he will try to carpet bomb me with media buys. But I am the one with the ability to change. He represents the status quo. I am the one with a pledge for honest, open, and effective campaigning and government, governance. He has a history of backroom decisions and secret meetings. 
I am the one who sees that the future of Tennessee is tied to its ability to have a workforce ready for the 21st century economy. He has proven to be more interested in special interests and squeezing out middle class families. I will need the support of every one of you, and a whole lot more. Over the next few weeks, I will be out in neighborhoods and doing everything I can to introduce myself to the voters of House District 26. I wish I'd been able to be with you tonight, but I know you are hearing my message through the voices of some great people who are helping me. Please follow my campaign on Facebook and on my website that will be up and running next week. Thank you very much.